Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Giri and today we're gonna film a tutorial on this look using the Too Faced Totally Cute Palette. It comes in this cardboard box and then the product looks like this. I hope you enjoy and that if you want to learn how to create this look, please stay tuned. To start out this look, we're going to use the Professional Pore Minimizing Primer and we're going to put this on our face where we typically have the most pores for me. That would be my chin, my cheeks, my nose and also my forehead. And then we're going to continue on to foundation. The foundation I'm going to use is L'Oreal True Match in the color 2R C2 Vanilla Rose. This is the perfect color for me now during the winter and as you will see when I put it on my face it is just perfect for my color during the winter but it evens out all the reds without being too heavy or too oily or anything like that. Uh, this foundation works very well during the winter when it's cold because um, it's slightly moisturizing so it doesn't dry out and look like cakey or flaky on your skin. We're just going to use a damp beauty sponge to apply the foundation and dab it in all over the face. And once we've finished putting on the foundation, we're going to use a large powder brush from Real Techniques to apply uh, our setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I typically only set the area of my face that I'm not going to use other powder products on. So under my eyes, on my forehead, around my nose, on my chin, um, which are also typically problem areas. Then we're going to go on to the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Top. Uh, I'm going to first use the brush end to brush my brow hairs upwards and then I'm going to use the colored end to fill in my brows and I start from the bottom. So first I do kind of like a line on the bottom and then I fill out the tail and I work myself towards the middle or like towards the inner part of the the brow. Uh, and in the middle I use kind of like upwards motions to mimic those of real hair so the brows look more real and more natural. I just edited in the second brow so you wouldn't have to look at this forever. And to set our brows, we're going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I use this to ensure that the hairs in my brows stay in place, that they don't go downwards during the day. Um, this helps them stay put. And then we're going to prime our lids using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden. And I just use my finger to evenly smooth out the primer all over my lids. So with our lids primed, we're going to go on to using the Too Faced Totally Cute Palette. Um, and we're taking a fluffy brush and going into the color Ice Cream Cutie and we're just going to use that under our brows uh, just to create a thin layer of, of color so that when we uh, do the rest of our shadow it's going to blend nicely and not get like a harsh line up towards the brows. Then we're going to go in with the color Bunny Fufu and use this as our crease color. So I'm just putting this on using circular windshield wiper motions. So I'm going back and forth, but I'm doing small circles with my brush as I do so. This way we, um, we smooth out the shadow, we don't create any harsh lines, and we get like a nice soft transition to up towards our brows. Thank you. 
And we're gonna go on to using the color I Love TF, which is a pink color. We're just gonna use it on the same fluffy brush. It doesn't matter if there's a little bit of residue from the Bunny Fufu. And we're gonna put this on the inner and the outer corners of our eyes and just blend it into the crease color. This is a beautiful, beautiful, fresh pink color. And I think it looks good on both blue and brown eye people. And then we're going to go in with the purpley color Meow. And we're going to put that in the inner and the outer corners as well, but not in, but in a slightly smaller area than we did with the I Love TF. Just to deepen out the color and make some dimension. As you can see, these colors are beautiful and they do not uh, have a lot of fallout. You have, I have no fallout under my eye at the moment. And then we're just going to take a clean blending brush and blend out the edges and the corners. Make sure everything is nice and smooth with no harsh lines. Then we're going to go in with a flat shader brush and the color Clover. And we're going to put this on the middle of our legs. It will create a nice contrast to the pink and purple colors and just be a fun pop of an unexpected color, I think. And then we're going to take that same clean blending brush and we're just gonna blend the colors into each other make sure there are no harsh lines that everything blends beautifully towards the upper part of the lid and then we're gonna go in with some more of that green color clover just to make sure the color pops just in the middle of our lids. Like so, and then we're gonna do our under eyes. We're gonna go in with the green color clover and at first I tried to put this all the way under my eyes, as you can see. But as I was working, I kind of changed my mind. So then we're going to go in with a small pencil brush and the color I Love TF. And put this on the inner half of our eyes, or like the inner third. And then we're going to go in with the color Meow and we're going to use that on the outer third of the eye. And we do this so the top and the bottom of our eyes will kind of match. I like this more than when I just used the green. And then we use the same flat brush but just the tip of it and we add some more green to the middle of our eye and then we take a clean flat shader brush and we go in with the color unicorn to use as our corner highlight so you can see this gives like just a beautiful glow to the inner corner make sure our eyes looks beautiful and open then we're going to go in with my mascara. I'm using the Benefits They're Real. I have used this mascara a few times, but I really cannot recommend it, I have to admit. Um, when I made, did this look right here, I had to work so much to get my eyes to look the way I wanted. It took forever. I had to edit out most, most of it. Um, and I also find this mascara transfers. So even if I'm using it in this tutorial, I really would not recommend you use this mascara. Instead, use some other mascara that you like and you will end up with the same good result and a lot less work. For blush and bronzer, together we're going to use Makeup Mecca 
blush in the color Charming. This is a very subtle brownish reddish tone so you can if you don't want to do a harsh contour you just want some color to your cheeks you can use this as both your blush and contour color and then I will use a real technique setting brush and put on my highlight and this is Becca in the color Moonstone. I put it on the tip of my nose, on my chin, on my cheeks and also on my top lip. So you can see the difference from the side that has highlight and the other side. I really do love the sheen that this highlight gives. And then to finish off this look, we're going to do our lips and we're going to use Ciata, um Liquid Velvet in the color Head Over Heels. This is a beautiful bright pink that I think works well with these eyes. I usually don't line my, my lips when I use a liquid lipstick but if you want to do, do it you can totally do it I just feel that it's a step that takes time that I don't have to do and I also feel that when I use a liquid lipstick the uh, lines of my lips don't you know streak or float out so it's fine and then the last uh, but not least step is to finish it all off with the vitamin E face mist from the body shop So that's all for this look. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you want to try it yourself and please do tag me if you do so. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram and my Snapchat. My username is superguri and until next time, bye!